guys to start off this look I'm gonna start with my LA girl pro HD concealer in shade fawn and apply that to my transition area I also use it to clean up my brows then I'm gonna go in with a concealer brush and clean up all of that concealer and blend some of it onto my lids this will help cancel out any discoloration or dark circles you might have on your eyes then I'm gonna go in with my Coastal Sense Creative Me one palette and use the brightest pink shadow and this blending brush which I also got from Coastal Sense and blend it out into my transition area I'll put a link down below to the Coastal Sense website so you guys could check the model cane now I'm gonna go in with my sugar pale burning heart palette and I'm gonna use that beautiful purple shade with this crease brush which I also got from Coastal Sense and apply this into my crease area and blend it into the pink shade we applied the first time then go back in with that blending brush to blend those two together I know it looks a bit patchy but you have to work with that shadow it's so pigmented it can be a little bit tricky to work with so what I decided to do was go in with the purple shade from my creative me one palette and mix it in and just help blend out that color once again so we have a nice smooth look as you guys can see I'm bringing in that purple a little bit in towards the tear duct area all right just to kind of give it like a slight cut crease look then I'm gonna go in with this MAC paint pot in the shade soft ochre I believe it's called and I'm using a concealer brush just to apply this to my lid and I'm also gonna use this to kind of give me a kind of cut crease look all right I wasn't planning for this look to be a cut crease look so it's like a combination between a cut crease and a soft cut crease or something like it all right now I'm gonna go in with makeup addictions pigment ex-boyfriend and I'm gonna mix this with some elf makeup lock and seal and create kind of like a liquidy eyeshadow paste and use this as a paint for my lid and I'm just gonna apply that on using a concealer brush as well okay and this makes the pigment more pigmented and it also help you control the pigment since it's not flying all over the place now I'm gonna use this Coastal Sense Hot Pot in the shade Blackberry and I'm gonna use the same crease brush to apply this to the outer V area and bring this in slightly into my crease and just darken up my crease area you know I like to use this shadow instead of black so it doesn't make it look too too dark but I still get it, get that smoky effect alright so now I'm gonna go in with my NYC liquid liner and create a wing liner I'm doing a very thin line nothing too thick or dramatic but um, if you don't want to do a liner you do not have to okay if you felt as though that your wing liner didn't come out as clean as you would like you can always use some concealer or foundation underneath it with a concealer brush to clean it up or to make it just pop and stand out a bit more all right and then now i'm gonna go in with that magenta color and apply this into my transition area just to make it just a bit more vibrant and bright then i'm gonna go in with this lorac um, baked bronzer and use this as my highlight using a shader brush which i also got from coastal sense all right you guys now going in with a bit of that hot pink shadow that we applied in our transition area i'm just gonna blend it in blend it in into some of my highlight to make sure it looks nice and you know smoked out and all that good stuff then i'm gonna apply some of this roller mascara from benefit cosmetics and then pop on some mink lashes okay these are from a company called lovable lashes and i'm gonna pop them on they have a nice full but natural look to them and they give a very nice length i'm gonna go in and add some concealer under my eye area and then blend this out using one of the smaller vanity brushes that i got from opv cosmetics and i'm just gonna blend that out you can use your fingers if you want to or a regular foundation brush now I'm gonna go in with that bright hot pink shade and apply this underneath my lower lash line area and smoke this out and I'm using this synthetic pointed crease brush from Coastal Scents you know you guys can get a lot of great brushes from Coastal Scents and they're very very affordable some of them are only maybe two dollars or a dollar ninety okay as you guys can see I went in with that purple shade with the shader brush and apply that closer to my lower lashes then I'm gonna go in with that brighter purple and apply that also underneath my lower lashes to make them pop and just to deepen up that color and make it look more vibrant 
All right, you guys, now I'm gonna put in some black eyeliner into my waterline. This is completely optional. Everything is pretty much optional. So you could change it up, do it however you like, you know, whatever makes you feel comfortable. If you want, you can do the inner wing cat eye thing like I just did there, and I use some liquid liner to create that. And you know, you can do whatever you want. You don't have to do lashes. You don't have to make a cut crease. You could change the look and make it your own. But this is the final eye look, you guys. I hope you guys really like it. Um, I had a lot of fun creating it. Now I'm gonna move on to the face using my Clean and Clear moisturizer, which I really like. Try not to put this on your eyelid or around your eye area because when your eyes do tear up, it burns. Well, that's what I've experienced. It burns, okay? Um, I think it's because of the amount of mint or something inside of it. But now I'm going to go in with my AJ Crimson um, Cream Foundation in the shade 4.5 slash 7. I bought this a while ago. It was still, what, winter time or it was still cold. So at the time it did match pretty well. But now I got a little bit of tan. So it's a little bit off. So we're just going to balance that all out with contouring and bronze, bronzing up the skin and all of that good stuff. By the way, you guys, I'm using this vanity brush from the vanity brush set from OPV that they sent me, and I actually really like it. Usually, these types of brushes make me giggle a little bit just because of their shape and the way they look, but it actually worked pretty well. Okay, now I'm going to do some color correcting with my LA Girl Pro HD Concealer in the shade Orange, and I'm just going to blend it out using my fingers, and this is going to help cancel out the discoloration around my mouth area. And I'm just going to lightly set that with some translucent powder. Once I set that lightly with a bit of powder, I'm going to go over that with a bit of my foundation. And then use the brush in a tapping motion because I don't want to kind of stroke it or else the powder will move and it's just going to look a hot mess. So tapping it will be better and this is going to make it easier to just conceal the discoloration. Now for highlight, I'm using my always LA Girl Pro HD Concealer in the shade Fawn. And I'm just going to use some of this under my eye area just to brighten up under there. I'm also going to apply some at my cupid's bow, my chin bridge part of my nose and just blend that out here I'm using a real technique beauty sponge and I just dampen that with a bit of the elf um, mist spray it's kind of like a mist and set spray but it's just a water-based like aloe vera formula which I really like it dampens the sponge and helps blend out the concealer very nicely I almost forgot to set around my mouth area, but I'm also going to use some of my Ben Nye Neutral Set Powder just to set around my mouth area. And this is to keep that foundation and concealer that we applied earlier in place and keep it from moving. Then I'm going to go ahead and highlight my Cupid's bow area and blend it out using my sponge. And I'm also going to highlight my chin and bridge part of my nose. These things are also optional, you guys. Like I always tell you guys, just do your makeup in whichever way it makes you feel comfortable. Alright you guys, now I'm going to use my favorite Van Nuye Neutral Set Powder. Use whatever powder you have available to set under your eye if you do decide to do like a highlight with concealer. Now I'm just going to go in and do my contour and I'm using the darker shade from that palette. And I'm using the smallest, well not smallest, but a smaller vanity brush from the vanity brush set that I got from OPV to apply that. Then I'm just going to blend it out and once I'm done blending it out as much as I can with that brush, I'm going to go in with the beauty sponge from Real Technique while it's still damp and blend it out a bit more just to make sure it looks nice and smooth and doesn't have any streaks or lines or anything like that. I'm also going to go ahead and do the same thing for the other side of my face, you guys.
Alright you guys, after I have that all blended out, I'm going to go ahead and dust off all that excess powder that I applied under my eye area. Okay, and just use a powder brush, fluffy brush, any type of brush that you have. Take that off. Okay, and this kind of helps give you a nice matte look, a nice airbrush type of look. Then I'm going to go in with my Pro Matte Powder from L'Oreal. And I'm just going to apply some of this over that foundation because it is a bit creamy and oily. So if you have oily skin, definitely not something you might want to try unless you use a super, super matte primer and a mattifying powder, okay? But I had to go over that. I'm also going to go in with my Pro Matte Powder also in the shade Cocoa. And this is just to deepen up my contour just a bit more and to warm up my skin just a bit more, okay? I'm also going to go in and contour my nose. I'm not exactly sure the name of this brush, but it also came in the set of the vanity brushes. And I'm just going to use that to contour my nose. And then to highlight my cheeks, I'm using the shade Bronzify Bronzified. It's a loose pigment highlight from Makeup Addiction. And I'm just going to go ahead and highlight my cheekbone area. For the first purple lip, I'm using this matte liquid suede lipstick from NYX in the shade Amethyst. It's a beautiful bright purple lip, you guys, it dries a beautiful matte shade. And I wanted to see how the eyes would look with that one first, so I ended up doing two different types of purple eyes. So that's how that looked. I also added some more pink to the lower lashes just to smoke it out just a bit more. And yeah, that's the first purple lip. I think it looks pretty cool. Okay, so now I'm going to move into my next purple lip and this one is in the shade Mystery and this is a liquid lipstick from OPV. It's quite thin when you first apply it so you want to put on at least two or three layers of it and let it dry in between each layer and then it comes on really nice and opaque. It has a slight metallic finish to it with a kind of like a, a hint of a sheen, not nothing too dramatic. But I'm going to go ahead and clean up around the mouth area just to make sure it looks nice and clean and crisp. And then I'm just going to add some powder to set that so it doesn't move. Dust off any excess powder. And that will be your second purple lip. If you guys enjoyed the tutorial, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you all very soon. I love you guys.